dealers are becoming governors and everything else in this country. So what is going to happen to the poor, poor, poor population of this country? Are we waiting for them to rise up against us? Politicians are not doing enough. Madam Speaker, I want to say that this has got to be the government must seek the compensation for that. Insurance must have been there. If CMA had played this role very well, these people would not be losing their money now. All that money should have been insured. But because it has not been insured, and I'm sure that's the case, and that's why they're losing because there's a complicity at all levels of the government itself. So this has got to stop. We cannot allow Kenyans being robbed and their hard-earned money and hard-earned properties being destroyed every day. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Member Fotetu. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise to also support the amendment by Honorable Atandi. At least he has made the report or his recommendations. I would uh, describe them as being specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time-bound. And it gives uh, the much-needed teeth to the uh, earlier general recommendations that were made by the committee. Madam Speaker, from the onset, I would like to say that uh, uh, the, our, our country, the landscape is lit. This is not the first time. From the days of uh, Desi, uh, we have seen uh, very many uh, of these schemes come and go. And uh, it is very, very unfortunate that now as a country, uh, we are starting now to run uh, what I would call uh, economic uh, banditry where these uh, conniving, uh, these uh, uh, very, very bright uh, 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 people who come disguised as businessmen come up with all these schemes, but whose only objective is to defraud uh, innocent Kenyans of their hard-earned cash. And, uh, Madam Speaker, it's very important that, uh, as we discuss this, uh, we should also call uh, in order the various uh, government agencies that are responsible for regulating our capital markets, for regulating uh, our financial markets, and even for regulating some of the other schemes that we have seen uh, you know, being uh, in the market. Madam Speaker, uh, in the case of Cyton, this is an organization that is uh, oversighted by the Capital Markets Authority. And uh, even as we uh, sit here uh, as a house uh, to um, uh, make the various recommendations as to what should happen to the directors, to the company, and the way forward, we must call out the Capital Markets Authority because when all these things were happening, and these things do not happen over, overnight, Madam Speaker, they happen over a period of years. These people advertise promising Kenyans returns of 40%, 60% per year. And Madam Speaker, I wonder, unless you are selling drugs, where do you get such returns on a wide scale? You know, Madam Speaker, I remember a company that was, uh, you know, uh, asking Kenyans to invest in greenhouses. And a Kenyan was only required to invest 200000 in a greenhouse. But the promised returns were 400000 per year. And I would ask myself as a common sense question, uh, as a common sense a Kenyan, why can't they do the investment themselves instead of asking other people to invest it? So such information should be quickly be picked up by the agencies. And I think here some people are sleeping on the job. CMA, DCI, NIS, whenever this information comes out in the open, they must be able to start preventive investigations by themselves and look for the perpetrators of, of, of these schemes. Madam Speaker, in the case of some of the circles that have also come and defrauded people of a uh, land, we also have SASRA. But in this country, we have an unfortunate situation whereby some circles are under SASRA and others are not. I think this is something as a house we must look into and ensure that every circle in this country, whether it's a land buying circle, whether it's a housing circle, all of them are under the habit of, uh, 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 you know, uh, SASRA. Madam Speaker, the real estate is now the new frontier for people uh, basically stealing from innocent Kenyans. And uh, the whole house has just, uh, I mean, uh, most of the people who have contributed before me have cited the case of, uh, you know, the Portland uh, cement land, which is also something that went on for years and years. And it is time that this house brings order to the real estate sector. And I'm happy to uh, have learned today from the chairman of uh, uh, the Finance and Planning Committee that they are intending to bring a motion to basically regulate this whole sector of land buying. Today, stockbrokers have an association. They have a stockbroker association and they have to be licensed by the CMA. Why, can, why do we have land brokers 
who have no organization that regulates them, who have no organization that oversights them. So, Madam Speaker, uh, for me, I, I, I rise to support and uh, I recommend, I mean, I go by the recommendations of the committee. 